All right. Welcome back to the Peach Tree Morning Show, and here we have Geshe Michael himself yeah. as the owner of this <laughs> cafe, and then Alison, my hey. partner in many different ways, and I'm Stanley. And I'm a little bit nervous today because it's my first time to do the MC in yeah. in the last 30 years of my life. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so today is Thursday, uh, March the 5th, and let's continue this great talk show. And we have a very, very good question. Because all of us, especially Geshe-la, he has very deep background in the business and in the ancient wisdom. And this question is about business. So let's hear the question first and then see. Where is it from? It's from Mexico. Her name is Mexico Fernanda. Oh. oh, she's one of our SIM. She's a Diamond X teacher. Diamond right? X teacher. So she got a good question for us. Let's see. When you leave your job to start a new business, how can you make sure that you will make it successful so that you have good finances and to keep your same lifestyle or even better? Okay. So let me repeat the question a little okay, bit. Again. The question she's asking is, uh, when you leave your job to start a new business, mm -hmm. and then number one, how do you make it successful, like mm -hmm. not losing money? Number two, how can you keep your good lifestyle? Like mm -hmm. you were not too busy, not too stressed out. You, you, you can even make it better. You can yeah. use this opportunity to make a better lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So I want to start with Geshe Michael himself, since he's the boss here yeah. uh, <laughs> of this cafe. Because uh, yeah. I know you have been starting a business. That's kind mm -hmm. of your interest. Mm -hmm. You keep starting up new business. This is a new business we're doing here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what do you want to say about it? Uh, you know, what came to my mind when I heard Fernanda's question the first time, and uh, we talked about it, yeah. is the problem I had when I was in the diamond business. And more and more people were asking me to come and talk about the seed system. Mm -hmm. And I was really busy in the diamond business. And I had a full-time job, more than a full-time. Mm -hmm. And I, I didn't know, you know what to do. And then I thought, okay, well, maybe I could start a new business. You know, maybe I could start. And then we called it DCI. And I thought, well, yeah. we can go around the world. And then I got a friend. And mm -hmm. I said, uh, if I quit in one day, you know, I only have so much savings money and that money will slowly go away and then I won't have any money. Mm. And I had a very high paying job in the diamond business. Mm. And so I understand it's going to take time mm. for the new company to make some money. And then, so I had this idea and I actually was very honest with the uh, two owners of the company. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I remember I went to their house, very fancy house. Yeah. In New York. And I said, yeah, yeah, and I said, you know what, I, I, need, I need to start transitioning. Oh. to my new career in the DCI. But if I ask you, if you will help me, mm. can I work uh, four days a week? And then in three months, can I work three days a week? Mm. And then later, can I work two days a week? And we did it that way. Oh, and it cool. took me about six months to quit. Oh, uh, I and I collected money during that time. And then when I did quit, mm. I said, I will consult for you. I will, mm. I will keep coming back. And I used to come back for a few weeks and mm -hmm. help them. with. So my first suggestion to Fernanda, mm -hmm. for just a conventional answer, mm -hmm. is, uh, you know, don't get an idea for a new business and quit your job. And then you, you think <laughs> your new money is going to come right away. It doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, be smart and mm. uh, transition out of your... So that's my first suggestion. What do you think about mm. shopping? What do you think about the, the real causes of making money in your new business? Like, what's yeah. the most important thing to remember yeah. in your new business? Yeah. Uh, thank you, Gesha. Actually, Stanley and I, we started our new business, I think our new company in Two, 2017. Yeah. And so I think we... We also have some experience that maybe we can share and contribute. Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, from the C level, the real cause for the new uh, business to work is that to make sure that we have been collecting, planting the seeds for our new company to succeed before mm. we start the new business. Long, <laughs> long ago, before yeah. we start a business. This yeah. is what Stanley and I we have been doing. Yeah. Even though we start uh, for our company, uh, for one company, we started in 2017. Mm -hmm. But actually, we have been uh, talk to each other and joke that actually we start our business 
long many years ago because we have been starting to plan this for financial success yeah. for us to have a good team for mm -hmm. talents and to have good uh, investors or our clients we planted those seeds mm -hmm. uh, yeah. uh, specifically long ago I think for almost like five five years oh yeah, you at started least, yeah. setting it up yeah, long before. yeah 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 what's this mean what, what yeah, do you I mean? have a cute idea oh so, yeah so we like yeah. we're Chinese. You can, you can write sure. down a pinyin or yeah. oh, oh, that's Roman a good idea. character. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because uh, we are Chinese, and Chuan. 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 we want to show yeah. you a little bit of oh, our cultural. So <laughs> yeah. It's too important word for you, Fernanda, and all the other people who want to start your business. So <laughs> let me show to the camera. First. Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, it's you can pronounce it like Chuan Ye. Mm. Right, yeah. my Chinese teacher confirmed. Yeah, Chuang Ye. Yeah. Okay, Chuang Ye. Yeah. So, okay. the, what does it do with this question? It's funny because if you check the word, mm -hmm. Chuang Chuang Ye means startup. Oh, business. startup business. But Chuang means uh, create, right? Create, start. Uh -huh. Create or start. And Ye looks like a plant just starting to grow or something. Ye has many different ideas. Like your business could be your shi yeah, ye. business, yeah. But oh. your comic seeds. Are uh, using the same word. Yeah, the same, same word. word. Oh, oh, oh. So, uh, what Alison was saying, uh, adding to Geshe-la's uh, advice, mm -hmm. is that in order to make this conventional method to work, because many people use your way, I believe, and they still fail. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have this time to translate. Well, you know what happens? Uh -huh. You get scared. Oh. Yeah, yeah. And then you say, can I, can I work full time again? Oh, I see. <laughs> and then you never trying. start a new business. Oh, yeah. That's one kind of failure. Yeah. Number two is it, you try and then <laughs> you have like maybe a year to prepare and then you still failed. Yeah. Because yeah. uh, strong year. Startups yeah. fail. Yeah. yeah. That, we have a saying like uh, uh, you could be a million year in Shenzhen today mm -hmm. and tomorrow you'll be bankrupt. <laughs> so there are like more bankrupt millionaire mm -hmm. in Shenzhen than anywhere wow. in, in the world. It's a startup. It's a Chuangye city, uh, the wow. city we stay in. Yeah. So how many people there, by the way? It's it's not far from uh, Hong Kong, right? It's not. It's twenty million, 20 million. around twenty million. It's a small city in China. It's pretty uh, big in a way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So why do we want to say these two words? Because we believe, according to the diamond cutter system, mm -hmm. the real capital for your startup mm. it's not like your experience not like your skills oh. or your yeah. your guan xi or your even networking. the money you said uh, that? not even money, the money yeah, yeah. No. the deeper cost yeah which you are talking in your DCI. Oh, that's interesting <laughs> DCI. So, yeah. Yeah. startup System. money yeah. your startup money is not money it's not money what is it is the seed in your mind wow. the mm. good seeds you have been planting by helping other people to mm. start the other people's business. Yes. So I have a question for both of you. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> she's asking, how can I also keep my uh, lifestyle? Yeah, yeah. You know, so, because we know many people, because we're teaching uh, 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 in the China Soft Power Global Executive Training Program, there are mm -hmm. entrepreneurs, they are successful. But I remember Geshe said, when you first met them, mm -hmm. they all feel... They all seem tired, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exhausted, losing, yeah. lost the passion of life, maybe. Mm -hmm. They have the money. They have yeah. a big company. Yeah. So if you become a startup entrepreneur, there's a big possibility that you will wear yourself out. Mm -hmm. And then you will yeah. lose your energy. You will lose your health. Yeah. Lose your health. Yeah. So how can we keep a good lifestyle or even make it better when you are getting more busy and more stressful? <laughs> I mean, uh, an easy answer, I want to hear your answer, but uh, my, my easy answer is that, you know, since you're starting your own company, mm. you can set new rules. You can say, you know, I'm only ah. going to work until five o'clock, uh, but you, you will break okay. that rule in yeah, about two true. days. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, that's going to be the conventional answer that mm. now you have power to go home when you want to go home that's true uh, that's a good thing. but it doesn't really work because well, you, you have the power you end up going home yeah. later yeah work more <laughs> more responsibility too yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. but i i will challenge shopping so yeah. i'm gonna pass this difficult okay. question to you okay. okay but is there a way that to start up your new business so fernanda you quit your old business you want to start up your new business is there a way to make a change in your habits to where you can work even more hours or you can work even harder, but mm. you feel more healthy and happy. 
Mm. Yeah, thank you. I think it's a beautiful question. By the way, she likes to be the boss. Everyone likes to be the boss. Everyone likes to be the boss. <laughs> <laughs> everyone likes to be the boss. Yeah, everyone. Well, uh, interesting. Actually, I think, I think we talk about it. We feel that now, uh, uh, actually, we have more than just one company. Mm. So I uh, have so many projects and, and teaching. Um, so touring, uh, touring, and mm. so actually have more and more responsibilities yeah. and mm -hmm. doing more and more projects. Yeah. And but it's interesting. The I, we also noticed. I also noticed that I have more energy. Wow! It's, now it sounds contradictory. Yeah, right? it does yeah. sound contradictory. So what's yeah. the secret? Yeah, what's the um, secret? I want to also. I also want to know. <laughs> you experience. No, no. Yeah, but I think one may mm, just some uh, share some practical. Tips. Yeah, yeah. And I think one is the motivation mm -hmm. why we start up our new company. For example, for a com company, some projects that we have the entrepreneurs for them to become have more energy and run mm -hmm. their business in a yeah. brand new way in the C system. Mm -hmm. So I think maybe the motivation uh, uh, we have when we mm -hmm. uh, do our new business mm -hmm. is to help people mm -hmm. to lead their life, lead their mm -hmm. business in a brand new way by mm -hmm. using the SIS system. Mm -hmm. So I think by the motivation and the way we run the company itself mm -hmm. already prime very powerful mm -hmm. seeds for yeah. us to have I, I have energy. a story for that. I remember suddenly <laughs> okay, okay. a few years ago we were in Taiwan doing DCI mm -hmm. and it's a big open talk. Mm -hmm. I think 3,000 people yeah, at that time. Like that, yeah. DCI level 9, I remember. Mm -hmm. But before that night, so uh, uh, we were both translating for Geshe on the stage. Mm -hmm. at, at that talk, I was translating. So I was really nervous because it's a big... Yeah, a big So thing. far, that time is the, our biggest uh, yeah. talk. Yeah. And then I got really nervous. I couldn't sleep well the night before. <laughs> so the moment we are going, we're walking to the stage, I feel totally exhausted. Wow. And then I feel nervous. Then I ask you, I don't know if you remember, I said, Geisha, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm really afraid because I don't have the energy I need. Because mm -hmm. I understand to teach such big audience, we need a lot of energy yeah, to, yeah, to pour yeah. into the audience. Yeah. And then you mentioned one sentence, very mm -hmm. simple, like, remember why we are doing this. Mm -hmm. Then I try to adjust my motivation. Okay, it's not for myself. Mm -hmm. It's not for the fame. It's not for the other things. It's to help them. And we have a big chance to help so many people. Mm -hmm. As a, a startup entrepreneur too, we have bigger chance to help many people. Mm -hmm. So uh, then I remember a very amazing shift of my energy. The mm -hmm. moment I walk on the stage, uh -huh. I felt like more <laughs> energy than ever before. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I yeah. think we did a good Yeah, that went very well, I remember. I have time. a question, another question for you guys. Okay. Uh, we teach the four steps every day. We teach many, many people. Uh, and the four steps are supposed to work for big things and for small things. Mm -hmm. So big thing is like, you know, running your whole company, uh, helping thousands of people. Uh, small thing is like your weight or your happiness at home ah. or uh, small things like traffic in Shenzhen, you know, small things like that. And my tendency is to remember the four steps for the big things. Mm. Mm. Uh, but then day to day, hour to hour, I just, I don't think about it at all. You know, if I need some small thing, like I'm having a little trouble with my partner or, or I don't feel great physically, uh, I just forget it right away. I, I start thinking not since. I start mm. thinking oh, I should eat more of this, or maybe I should suggest this to my partner. Or, so how do you keep your mind to go back to the seeds? Mm -hmm. Because I think it relates to Fernando's question. You know, the more uh, times yeah. each day in your new business you think about the seeds, things are going to change for you. Mm. Mm. By the way, we have about three minutes left. Okay, cool. Okay. Why don't you start? So, how do you get yourself to remember mm. the seeds? Mm. Uh, I think I'll give... Hour to hour. Hour to hour. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, one uh, suggestion is that uh, to keep a six times book. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if you have learned it. If not, you can join our DC events. And then, but mm -hmm. also you can write a uh, Geshe Michael's Diamond Cutter business book. It also explains to you how to write a six times books. It's a way to keep our keep track of our thoughts of how mm -hmm. we think. 
and mm. six times per day. Mm. And then uh, every uh, two or three hours, you you write down, you check uh, your mind and uh, write down uh, uh, certain things. For example, check if you have think about the things in the mm -hmm. past two hours or mm. one hour. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we can talk about more late details later if we have chance. Mm -hmm. But personally, I think it's a very good way to help us and to uh, remind to, us uh, yeah. to think about the seeds because yeah. it's indeed the more time we can uh, think about the seed system, the more successful our company will become. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, I have one. What idea. would you do? Yeah, uh, yeah. What's your suggestion? So I know all the startup entrepreneurs will be very busy, mm -hmm. and then usually they 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 lost their uh, pace of life. Mm -hmm. So for us, the way we go. How do you say, Se go back to the center? Center, mm -hmm. center ourselves. Yeah, center ourselves is we go back to the ancient classics. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah we yeah. study, we learn. I think our mind is like a dried old wood. It's hard, <laughs> hard to train. Or a stone. <laughs> Even a stone, hard to change. So we, I think we almost spend like one third of our time at a least. year. At least. At least. Yeah. At least. Uh, uh, dedicate ourselves into the deeper and deeper study mm -hmm. yeah. the, to change our mental our habit. Our worldview. Yeah. yeah, and so that we can uh, remember seeds more in our daily busy life. And yeah. in the DCI online world, <laughs> uh, we have developed what we call the levels, uh, yeah. DCI cool. online levels, which is, uh, I see it as a chance for entrepreneurs or mm family, people, this is a way to check in with the ancient classics. Ah, that's a good idea. Uh, so yeah. you can go watch yeah. uh, the DCI online levels for I don't know, five minutes, ten minutes, mm. and then come back to your normal life, and that cool. will help you remember yeah. to mm. do these things. What's our question? What's our next question? Right. You, Maybe uh, let's summarize a little okay, bit. Okay, yeah, and practical steps. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we mentioned, oh, Geshe Michael himself mentioned about you need some transition time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. From your old job to your new startup business. Mm -hmm. So you have something uh, you know, to protect you. Well, get some money ready. <laughs> yeah, get some money ready. Because it's a risk game. It's a risk-taking action. I met a very famous Chinese uh, businessman. Uh -huh. And I asked him what's his secret when he starts a new project. Uh -huh. yeah. And he, he looked at me and said, Michael, I never start a new project unless I have the money ready. <laughs> Because he knows I don't. That's <laughs> very friendly. <laughs> yeah, get okay. the money ready. Yeah. And Alison mentioned about uh, seeds, right? Deeper causes. Deeper causes, yeah. you know. Before you start your own business, count, uh, collect a lot of good seeds. Yeah. Uh, Siri also In advance. Uh, agrees. <laughs> In advance. In, In advance. advance, yeah. 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 In, uh, when you make your investment capital, make your investment seed capital. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, because that decides everything, you know, if you can That's the key to or, the success. Yeah, that's the key to success. Okay, so let's move on to our next question for Friday. Yes. Oh, tomorrow. there was one more suggestion. With, oh. uh, yeah. To keep, oh, remember, name is Sorry. to keep remembering the seeds, then, uh, oh, yeah, you yeah. know, learn the six times check Six times book, yeah. Okay, yeah. let's see this yeah. question. Okay, this is uh, another DX speaker, Juan. Yeah, Madin. Juan from uh, Colombia. Colombia, okay, yeah. let's check. I'm from Colombia, and my question is, in my country, there are a number of companies, commercial companies, based on network marketing. That means you bring people to the company, and to be successful, you should help others to be successful. Your downlines. Well, 70% of people that join these kind of companies fail in the first year. So, what are they doing wrong? Why helping is not working in this case for them? Thank you. Why helping is not working in this case? Yeah. Do you know the story about this? This kind of companies. This kind, yeah, yeah. It's also, What's the story? Uh, uh, it's like you know, this kind of company is based on helping other people because you are empowering normal people mm -hmm. to have a chance to do business, to sell your products, for example, your health products, mm -hmm. like that. But yeah, what, we're marketing. Yeah. In your home, right? In yeah, your home, from or your home to your friends, WeChat or any yeah. social media, you yeah. know, or Facebook, mm -hmm. and but what he is saying that why helping doesn't work. It seems like helping other people doesn't work in this. Yeah, in the this whole business. system of those companies yeah. is that you teach another person to make money and you're helping mm -hmm. them, and then they work under you in a pyramid. Mm -hmm. So it should be all those companies' success. Mm -hmm. So why not find yeah. out tomorrow? Yeah, we'll have yeah. Scott and Ari and Geshe Michael to answer this question. See you okay. again. See you. See you.